All right. So you're also um, involved with the Boy Scouts. Actually, it's called Scouting BSA now. Scouting BSA. So they took the boys part out and they started right. admitting girls. Yes, they which, did. Uh, personally, I'm in favor of. You know, I'm I'm in favor of expanding uh, the scouting ideals to as many American children as possible. You know, uh, brother, I'm a, I'm in a million percent agreement with you. It's a tough subject. You know, I mean, especially. A lot of old time scouters, they they into tradition. They feel that girls should be with girls, boys should be with boys. Um, you know where I partially feel that's very true. The difference is, is you just can't beat the scouting. When I say scouting, I mean Boy Scouts, right? Scouting BSA. The requirements of what you need to become an Eagle Scout and what these children are learning is amazing. Like. One of the, yeah, you need 21 merit badges to complete. And prior to that, there's different ranks. So you start at scout, I believe it's tenderfoot, then it's second class, first class. Then you get into your upper advancements, which is star, life, and finally eagle scout. Well, you know, you, there's so much you got to do at each rank. Um, some of it is, you know, how to work a, a GPS uh, m tracking maps and physical fitness is part of the requirement. You learn first aid in these merit badges. So 21 merit badges are, are the minimum and you need, I believe it's 14 minimum for the Eagle Scouts uh, merit badges. Those are usually a lot harder to do. I'll give you an example. Uh, personal management is one of your tougher um, merit badges. And these uh, boys and now girls, which they should have the same opportunity as the boys, they learn about checking books. They learn about why credit is good and bad, the dangers and pitfalls. They learn how to track stocks. I mean, they're learning life experiences that we used to be taught in school a long time ago, the important things that'll carry on in your life. And, you know, I think a lot of these uh, colleges and I know for a fact, military academies, if you want your child to go to military academy, the Eagle Scout portion award gives a lot of points and it's very favorable. And, and it's mostly due to the leadership aspects of what you learn in scouting. If you go into the enlisted military, you start at one rank higher upon graduation, you know, and, you know, some of the parents and, and that I've met who are former Eagle Scouts, these are top shelf individuals. I mean, they just, you can tell when someone has it together. And I believe the Eagle Scout, uh, the whole program of the scouting really sets a foundation. You know, there's God involved. Um, there's family there's faith there's america you know it's mm -hmm. all the principles are you build a solid base for these young children and i believe girls have the same should have the same opportunities that our young men have and you know we have i think the second largest because I'm, I'm with troop 311 at saint john vianney in kailua i believe right now we have the second largest girl side girl troop so we have two troops in troop 311 one is girl troop and one is boy troop these young ladies came in, bro, and they just smoked the field. I mean, you know, uh, younger ladies at that age, they're more driven than the boys, let's be honest. And it's amazing to see how they have really taken, taken this to the next level. And it's awesome to see the development of the boys and the girls. It was really fascinating to me to see um, at the week-long summer camp up at Pupukea where right. they had um, boy troops and then they had a couple of girl troops. Um, and they weren't camping together. You know, the, no. each troop has no. their own campsite and they all have adult supervision and whatnot. Um, so you don't have a lot of the intermingling. The intermingling no. happens during the class time during the days, which is fine. Um, but what I did notice was that the girl campsites were far more organized and far bro, cleaner. Bro. And the boys, their, their tents are all over the place. Uh, some have like trash or clothes and stuff hanging here and there. And it's like, guys... That's what you guys should be looking. Your campsite should look like that. Yeah, they, they're like I said, they're motivated, you know, and 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 it's an awesome thing. And you know, the week long pupu care camp is such a cool experience. And you know, I want people to realize this because you know, right now, currently, if you look in the news, the, the Boy Scouts are being sued. You know, I mean, there's always going to be bad elements, but I want everyone to realize. The amount of training that goes into these leaders now, I mean, everything is too deep leadership. There's a lot of rules for protection for the child. And I want everyone to know that as a committee chair, my job is to make sure that everything runs smoothly and safely, right? And, you know, it it really does, with the rules in place, the, the children are very safe up there. You know, we have a lot of 
to make sure we do background checks on everybody who's going to be a leader, anyone around your children. I mean, it is very, very tight, the security. And that's something that needed to be done and has been done. And you should never feel worried that, oh, my God, my son or daughter, I don't want them around here because what they're going to learn stays with them for life. What about the parents that um, don't want their kids to come into scouts because of the stigma that it's like a paramilitary organization? Well, you know, everyone has their beliefs on how they want to raise their children. But I believe this, unless your child is a music prodigy or a complete genius level in maybe math or English or whatever, or can Tomahawk 360 dunk a basketball, run a 4-340, the scouting program will, in my opinion, do more for your child than anything else that I've ever experienced because it brings a, you know what the thing that I've heard about scouting is? It is the safest place to allow your children to fail, right? Mm. Everyone is going to have successes and failures, but in the scouting element, right? If you fail, you're in a safe environment and you learn and you're Partners pick you up. You know, it's very difficult, though, because the older you get, a lot of times scouts don't make it because sports come into play in high school, studies harder. So, you know, when you have the advantage to get into the scouting program, you either have to be 11 years old or 10 and have graduated from the fifth grade or uh, graduated and crossed over from the Cub Scouts, you know, yep. which is the arrow of light. Yep. Um, that's the time to take advantage of, of the scouting and really and go full force with that. And we have, and so my son right now, I promised I wouldn't talk about my family, but I'm proud of them. Um, you know, he started Cub Scouts, crossed over, and he could have made Eagle last year at 13 years old. He has his uh, um, Eagle Scout project left to do, and he's doing that all on his own, which I'm very proud of. So, you know, it's taking a little longer. It's just the development of it and whatnot. So, I mean, he chewed it out. A lot of our kids chew it out. But where, they've, where they are right now compared to where they first were when they first came into the scouting program, meaning the Boy Scouts, amazing. You drop them off now, man, they'll set up your whole camp, you know, bam, bam, bam. It's amazing. Cook stuff on the grill. They've, they've become self-sufficient. And that's what we really want as parents to be able to um, send our kid into our children into the world and survive. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up that whole part about um, a safe place to fail. Because like uh, once the kids get into high school, it's not a safe place to fail. Because if you start failing there, it's it's almost too late. You're like you're worrying about getting into colleges, you're worrying about getting good grades, and you're you know there's a lot of peer pressure, there's a lot of parent pressure. Whereas with the scouts, it's like at the end of the day, if you make it, great. If you don't. You're not, you're not losing out a lot. You know, the end goal is to get to Eagle Scout, but also the end goal is to learn and to be a good human being. But yeah, it's not a matter of if the child is going to fail in Boy Scouts, they will fail at some point in Scouts and have to learn to succeed from that. The scouting uh, principles, really their main mission in life is to hopefully get the children, I got to say children now because it's both, up to the rank of life scout because they feel once you obtain life scout, you should have amassed enough great opportunities and experiences to navigate your way through life. However, those that take on the challenge and finish up to become Eagle Scouts is forever. You are no longer, who, who knows? They don't really have awards for life scouts, but once you make Eagle, you're Eagle for life. Right. And with that comes great responsibility because you would be judged as an Eagle Scout for life. Yes. But it opens up immense doors because when you're an employer or you're a school or you're in the military recruiters, when you look at somebody who has figured it out and done everything and all that time invested in and perseverance to become an Eagle Scout, that speaks volumes. And I believe it's the difference in getting the job or getting into the college when the selections are close. Yeah, it's definitely a huge, huge opportunity for um, children to become. And that, that's one of the reasons why they wanted to allow girls in. So, Absolutely. So they could allow the girls to have that opportunity because Girl Scouts didn't have something like Eagle Scout. I mean, they have high rank, but it's not, it wasn't looked upon the same way as Eagle Scout was. 
in, you know, in the society. Right. I don't want to, uh, you know, put down the Girl Scouts in any way, but I will say this. I do not believe that their curriculum is anywhere near what a Eagle Scout curriculum is, you know, to make Eagle. And I, I definitely think that um, for me, if you're going to invest your time and your money into your child, I think that is the best investment that you can do, period. Scouts. Scouts BSA. And scouting in Hawaii is a good thing too because you do bring in that whole multi-ethnic racial diversity amazing. into scouting. Too, it's amazing. Right? So you do see a lot of that. And it's great to see the kids just go to camp and set up on their own and make the mistakes with setting up a tent and placing a tent. And, you know, they set up the tent, but they didn't put the tarp down first. And now they're getting wet. You know, that means all those little things transcend and become bigger lessons um, for lifelong when you go to winter Delta. camp, that's a rain fest. You're, oh, you're in God. foot deep of mud sometimes. Yeah, I don't even want to go to winter camp. It's like, hey, one of the lessons is don't go to winter camp. <laughs> but you know what? Winter rain. camp is exceptional because that's where the technology class. So winter camp mm. has different merit badges than summer camp. So yeah. winter camp, you have a chess tournament. You know, you can, summer camp, they don't want you to bring your cell phones and any kind of electronic devices, right? But at winter camp, they encourage that. They want you to bring your laptops. They want you to bring your cell phones because... They have computer classes. You know what's cool about winter camp? My son's favorite merit badge is welding, right? He's learned how to wow. weld. It's Super a matter interesting. Of, right. He's going to take that. I'm going to plug this in. Thank you, Kamehameha, for allowing my son to join your ranks next year. Very appreciative. He's going to take a welding class over there because he loves it. And I think that's, uh, I think learning a trade skill is so important on top of an education because yeah. it's something to fall back on. And if you, never become a tradesman, which is nothing wrong to do. At least you know how to do it yourself and save a lot of money in the future. You don't yeah, have at to least hire you have some kind of you don't have to hire someone to do it for you. Right. Like, oh, I don't know. Filming and video editing. It's like I learned that in high school. Right. You know, back in the day with the big eight track, not eight track, uh yeah. All those big they weren't VHS tapes. They were huge tapes. There. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, just doing manual editing and stuff. Like I that. think the scouting program has something like 130 something merit badges. And think about this. The, the beauty of that is you can give your child an opportunity to test many different things. My son took nuclear science, right? Merit badge, excuse me. And I, I think that's so incredible. There's plumbing, there's electrical, there's home repairs. You can learn how to do a lot of things to be self-sufficient for later in the future, or you might find something to interest yourself and then proceed with that and, and do that as a uh, career. It's all good stuff. It's like nuclear science merit badge. It's yeah, not it was, just merit badge for tying knots and learning to swim. Like there are in-depth merit badges that um, I think parents, once they realize that and they look through the book and they see all these different types of things that their kid could learn, it's like, oh, wow, I didn't know they could do all that. Yeah. And, you know, God and country and you learn about community citizenship in the community, in the nation and in the world. You know, when it was in the nation, you know, we had to go to Pearl Harbor. I mean, we had to go to Arizona Memorial. We had to go to Punch Bowl. I mean, those are things that you just is amazing to teach your children and to, to be a part of it and watch them learn that and grow. Yeah. So it's about America. Yeah. It's also like those same group of kids they are going out, they're hiking in the woods, they're hiking in the mountains, they're taking care of their land. They're going to the beaches, they're doing beach cleanups. You know, I mean, they're really invested in taking care of, you know, the land, which is one of, you know, Hawaii's big talking points, you know, take care of the Aina. And scouts are right there, you know. You Environmental just, science merit badge, yeah. sustainability merit badges, water and soil merit badges. I mean, it's amazing. Amazing stuff. Yeah. So for people that are all into like saving the environment and doing goodwill for, you know, Mother Earth, hey, scouting teaches all that. And that's like a big part of scouting is actually taking care of um, your environment. Absolutely. We do a lot of uh, Eagle Scout projects environmentally. Yeah. Very much. I, I'd say half of them are in the environment. What's the future like uh, for uh, scouting? I think, uh, you know, obviously with the lawsuits going on right now, it's a little, you know, uh, like anything, people are going to harp on the bad things. I think we as a society need to invest more into scouting. I think we really need to look at that as a incredible means to um, help our children out. You know, before... 
these kind of principles were, were taught at home with, you know, two family incomes needed, especially in Hawaii. A lot of times we don't have the same type of time that, you know, parents can put with their children. Scouting is tested and true, it is developed. It's been around since I believe the early 1900s. Look at some of the famous scoutings. Ellison Onizuko was an Eagle Scout. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You look at some of the people in the past who are Eagle Scouts. These are all incredible individuals. And I believe the base that made them that way, it was always internal, but the scouting program definitely assisted and built the character and the leadership qualities needed to advance in life. Where'd you go in Scouts when you were a kid? You know what? I played sports. I didn't know about scouting. Oh, as no. a kid. No, so I'm living through, I'm living it now. It's great. And, uh, you know, I wish I did scouting as a, yeah. as a kid. It, you know, that that's a lot of ways. Some parents, they're, they're very sports oriented. And it's almost like you got to pick. So that's why I'm saying get them involved young. And then they can finish it really a lot of times before then. They should always be involved in scouting. It's a great thing. Knowing what I know now, I would go back and be an Eagle Scout and because I just love it. I mean, it's like I'm living it as an adult. And it's great. Right. It's like sports. It's good, especially for kids that are young. You know, my kids are in sports. But I don't like when I see like parents pushing their kids, pushing their kids hard in one sport as if they're going to be a professional, you know, in the next few years. It's like, guys, let them have fun. Number one. Number two, if they're if you're if you're willing to do sports over scouts, have a good base for that. Have a good reason for that, because scouts and the lessons that they learn in scouts and getting to Eagle Scout, that's that right there on paper. That is value that you can take, that that child can take with them through college and through life. Sports, okay, well, what if they don't go professional or if they don't get into a college because they're not good enough at the sport, what have you wasted all your time practicing for? You know, I do think sports brings an element of, of really important things. It's teamwork. You know, you learn how to uh, give your all for the person to your right and left. You know, some are individual and it's, you know, you got to have a special a young individual to do individual sports. They got to be really driven. Of course, team sports too. But I think at the end of the day, when you look at the totality of everything, I think for the money investment for your child, scouting is hard to beat from what I see now. I think if you can do both and manage it successfully, I think that is the awesomest. John? It's been great having you on, man. Hey, I appreciate this, man. You it was did a, it say was you a, a put a gi and you did yeah, you, you did know. uphold that. Yeah, so good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, thanks for doing this. This is a, this is a lot of fun. I appreciate this yeah. opportunity. Right on. May have to have you back on again. Yeah, we'll talk about something new next time. Yeah. All right. As always, stay happy, Hawaii. Aloha. Right on. <laughs>